I am Sanjay Mohe, architect from Mindspace, Bangalore. Um, we are doing this very interesting project for Rohan Builders, which is uh, situated at Balewadi, Pune. It has an interesting setting. Um, it has a road from one side and a river on the other side. So we had to sort of take advantage of that and create something interesting. So the way the site is, it has a kind of a profile which becomes kind of interesting starting point for any architect. Uh, there is a there's a river on one side. Uh, this becomes one access road, and there is one proposed road, which would be about 24 meters wide road, which would happen in future so the the access road which um, which which comes in uh, we were trying to respond to the existing form of the site and this particular form gives us a lot of advantage so the way we sort of positioned the building um, in a way that it gives us a huge advantage of a green space right in the middle. So you, you come in through this pathway, come into a larger plaza and because of this form, it sort of gives you a sense of discovery. So you come in, you s come into the entrance plaza, see this um, unwinding kind of a landscape and which opens up and eventually it opens out into the river. So intentionally what happens is towards the river side, this entire built from get, gets lifted up and you come in, you discover this landscape and then it opens up into the large area which you have a view right up to the horizon. Now this is something which is special about this, um, this site, the form. Um, we realized that uh, to exploit this view um, of the river and the landscape, the green area which is beyond right up to the horizon, uh, you need to lift your eye level. You have to sort of uh, come to at least about 30 feet high and from there, when you look at the entire landscape, uh, it gives you a kind of a panoramic view which we wanted to exploit. So as a as a decision, what we started doing is we started climbing up along this uh, entire landscape. So gradually you come in and you start climbing up, climbing up through, uh, and you reach a point which is at the other end um, as a large deck. So you are already about 7.5 meters above, and from there the entire landscape opens up. So that was a kind of a starting point um, while, while taking a decision on the master plan. Um, so one advantage of this was uh, from each of these units, wherever you are staying, you either get a view of this landscape, which is in the middle, or you get a view of the outside. So we ensured that from every living apartment, every unit, almost every room, um, you have a visual access to the landscape area, either, either within the court or on the outside. Uh, the next decision was to allow breeze to come into the whole thing, so to make the entire development sustainable. So we created a lot of wind tunnels. So the idea is you allow the breeze to come in and you allow it to come through these narrow tall openings using Venturi effect. So it comes through these narrow tall openings and it sort of, the whole principle of Venturi effect is to squeeze the breeze through the narrow opening and allow it to expand and thereby the temperature drops down. By doing that, what we are trying to do is make sure that the landscape space in between uh, would have a temperature drop of almost above about five degrees even on a summer hot summer day and by creating this microclimate you are sort of creating a sustainable environment which will keep 
uh, the entire environment, uh, you know, um, climatically, you're creating a kind of a happy space. We had to design this development, which would sort of become 30 storied high buildings. Uh, so our main concern was how do you scale it down? We didn't want to make it into a concrete jungle where uh, you go in and you feel scared about the, the sheer mass of concrete which is surrounding you. Uh, as a kid, a kid would come into that space and get lost uh, looking at these high-rise buildings. So, so one of our principal efforts was how do we scale it down and make it comfortable. Now, for that to happen, we have done a lot of developments uh, for Rohan builders, uh, which are about up to about 12 storied, 14 storied high. And uh, we know the kind of uh, proportions of the open space you get. Uh, the idea being, uh, if, if somebody is standing on the 14th floor uh, and uh, and the kid is playing on the ground, you would still be able to call, see the kid, identify him, shout at him and say, come home. So once it goes beyond that, uh, then you tend to lose the relationship with the ground. And you realize that the moment you start going away from the ground, when you start losing that connection with the ground, uh, you tend to have some of these psychological issues which you feel kind of unsafe, you feel a little lost uh, at a higher level. So we were trying to see how do we sort of resolve this problem, how do you make the entire development humane. So we divided this entire zone into two parts. There is one area uh, which is which I showed you uh, which has these surrounding structures. They stop at 14 floors. And then beyond 14 floors, you have another landscape podium, uh, which became which becomes like an elevated ground level. And above 14 floors, you have these towers, which are about 20 storied high, uh, and they they get distributed above this podium of 14 floors. So thereby, the way we are sort of tackling uh, this issue is you create a a very dense landscape at the ground level and you create another landscape which is at the 14th floor uh, which is which is an elevated garden now um, even at the lower level uh, we are trying to create a lot of porosity so at the eye level you would be able to look through these gaps um, and i will explain it in terms of section that uh, we have a podium and we have this block which goes 14 floors high and then you have another block this side which is about 14 floors tall um, now this is the landscape area in the middle and the way, way I'm talking about the porosity, that greenery actually goes through the plot. So you have this colonnade, and when you stand there and look across, your vision goes through. You actually look through, and the entire space expands. So the landscape area is not only restricted within the open to sky space, but it goes under the building, through the colonnades, and you see some of those entrances, lift lobbies and all, which would have different color graphics. Uh, so when you are in that central space, you see that entire enclosure, uh, which is a very large landscape, unfolding landscape space. But through that, you would see these colored graphics, which identify your, uh, your entrance lobbies. Now, at the terrace level, you have a garden space, as I said. And then beyond that, uh, the tower continues with some columns here. So you have another towers with the columns. So the way it happens is you have one area of landscape which happens at the eye level and another level which is at the terrace level. And these, these two landscape spaces will have totally different character. One which is you are under the trees 
with water bodies around you are looking through this colonnade and then you go up to the 14th floor and this is that is like almost being on the top of the hill so you go there and you connect yourself with the horizon the breeze flowing through and that is like one elevated ground level which is created at that point and for the people who are staying above that uh, they have to just come down few floors to reach that elevated ground level and you can further come down and come to the ground level so this becomes a very interesting experience whenever you have a guest coming you he would walk through this uh, this landscape landscape below but you would want to experience uh, the way that terrace looks like so you want that ev every guest to take that person and show you know on 14th floor how that whole space looks like uh, so so those two experiences are something which are which are very unique to this project uh, even if you want to take a book and sit on the 14th floor and just sit under this colonnade and experience the breeze and the viewing deck, you know, looking right up to the horizon, uh, that would be absolutely amazing experience. So this is the way we are trying to scale down this whole space and make it, uh, make it look extremely human. In terms of clubhouse, uh, the clubhouse is there are there are, there are different kinds of amenities which would be di distributed all over this landscape area not only at the lower level also at the 14th level but um, as a focal point as you come up the landscape area uh, you will have a large structure at the end uh, which would be a, a focal point and which would be a clubhouse which will have a large pool on the top and along the slope you will have this um, you know uh, cascading water body uh, with a reflection of the pool uh, seen into that so so that is that is the experience which um, which makes the whole project very unique in terms of uh, traffic management we have uh, we have four levels of parking spaces um, and we worked with a uh, traffic consultant uh, to make sure that there is a smooth uh, movement of traffic, uh, the way vehicles would come in, the way vehicles will go out, uh, to make sure that there is no uh, crossing uh, of paths happening across, uh, to make sure that there is always a one-way movement of the of the traffic. But the but the important point is when you come in, the traffic moves on the periphery. Uh, leaving this uh, the central green area without any vehicular movement. Now, the only thing which we are allowing uh, within this uh, central space is the emergency vehicles like the fire tender. So, from the safety point of view, uh, we would have we we would allow the uh, fire tender to move through this. Uh, but which would look like a landscape area, it won't look like a road, it would be a green area. Only in the case of emergency, the vehicle, the space, the landscape is designed uh, to take care of these emer emergency vehicles to move across. So, um, uh, so it's a win-win situation, you get a large landscape space, at the same time uh, you, you are addressing all the safety issues. Uh, and these vehicles will come in only in the case of emergency so otherwise this whole space is free of traffic so it has a huge advantage of for the kids to just run around and feel safe uh, so the parents um, who are maybe standing in the balcony and looking down at the kids they uh, the kids who are playing below uh, they they are sure that you know there are the kids are not going to encounter any vehicular movement uh, as they play around um, the same thing happens at the 14th floor which is again which has certain play areas certain contemplation areas certain areas where uh, people could get together uh, using the slope of the landscape um, uh, you know we are creating a places 
for a smaller gathering, for the larger gathering, even for uh, watching, uh, you know, the cricket matches could be probably screened uh, on and you s sit on the slope of the green and watch those matches. So there is a lot of warmth, there is a lot of interaction, there is, uh, there is a lot of sort of possibility of uh, social interaction and creating a happy space for different age groups for the for the toddlers for the uh, for the children going to kindergarten uh, the children with a lot of energy who can run around uh, for the for the as adolescent age uh, group as well as for the old people so you have you create these different meeting points different um, nooks, corners, uh, you know, under cover, under open to sky space. And the whole idea is to create a kind of a happy environment. So in terms of a 3D model, um, as I explained, uh, you have a road coming into uh, the site, uh, into an into a entrance plaza. Uh, we have a river on the other side. This is this is the proposed road, which 24 meter proposed road, which will happen uh, subsequently. Um, these are the open spaces uh, which are left uh, next to the river. So you have playgrounds here, which are uh, more closer to the uh, to the openness of the river. Now uh, you start climbing up this plaza. Uh, you start climbing up, further up, there is a sloped lawn and this entire vista opens up and you get this large frame. So it's like framing the view of the river and you, by the time you come here, you are almost about 25 feet above the ground level and when you stand up onto the deck, you look across right up to the horizon. There's a lot of green here. Um, so, so you have this strong connect, visual connectivity with this openness. The birds, which which you keep encountering as you as you walk along the river. I was talking about the landscape going under the building. So, uh, the, the way you can see here that it's not only the open to sky area, but you will see the landscape which continuing under the colonnade. So you have a choice of sitting under a double height area or coming out or sitting under the tree. So, which keeps happening on both the sides. Uh, taking that porosity further, you have these gaps which you sort of look through, which allow the breeze to come in. Um, so, when this block comes in <clears throat> and gets fitted on the other side, you come in and you get one frame at this point. So you come in, you are creating a frame, a visual frame of the landscape, come across and you see another frame which uh, looks at the river. So that's how the entire thing unfolds. So you have one character of a landscape which is happening at the lower level and another character of the landscape which is happening at the 14th level. So you have another uh, double height colonnade with covered spaces, open to sky spaces, and the entire thing is connected so you can walk across one for one place to another. You can actually take a walk in the, in the morning, uh, which, which allows you to walk across uh, and get, again, <clears throat> as I said, uh, see the presence of sky all around. Uh, taking this as a base, um, we have series of towers which are placed on the top of this. So as you see, um, the scale which I was talking about all the time, uh, to make it human, to bring warmth into it, you have this whole landscape area which is surrounded by 14 storied buildings with a lot of these gaps. Uh, so this is, this is a nice scale to be within the space. Uh, and then the clubhouse forming like a focal point with this swimming pool so you would see the uh, reflection of the pool as you as you walk up these slopes um, and this entire frame at the other end uh, so you create another ground level uh, at the 14th floor and then these blocks come and sit on the top 
So you have this series of blocks sitting on the top of this podium. So this gap which happens in between all the time wherever whenever you place them um, basically you can look through that gap and see the sky so that makes it uh, you know quite an interesting experience and it doesn't feel as if you are standing under a 30 story tower block uh, the way these blocks are kept on the top they are staggered in plan so between the two blocks again you get a view across so that also makes it quite interesting our attempt was to create something unique on this unique site um, which has a strong context in terms of having a river and greenery towards one side and the entire unfolding experience that you encounter as you uh, feel the space uh, making it much more human, bring warmth into it, bring happiness into it and create something which everyone would be proud of. Uh, you know, you want to have a home uh, in this place which will make you proud. Thank you.